Okay, right, so we're going to be writing equations based upon tables. We've already kind of been doing this. So we're going to write an equation in the terms of y of x, y and x, excuse me. So when x is 1, y is 0. 0.5. When x is 2, y is 1. When x is 3, y is 1 half. When x is 4, y is 2. So what it looks like is that they're dividing by 2 every time or multiplying by 1 half. So this is a multiplicative relationship. So you have y is equal to, excuse me, you can write as 1 half times x. Or you can write y is equal to x divided by 2. And I can see if this works, so I plug this in. So when um, I plug in x for 1, it would be 1 over 2, which is 0.5. When I plug in 2 for x, I have 2 over 2, which equals 1. When I plug in 3 for x, I have 3 over 2, which is 1.5. When I plug in 4 for x, I'll have 4 over 2, which is 2. So yes, that works. So my equation would be y is equal to 1 half times x or y is equal to x divided by 2. They're the same, the same thing. All right, so this one, when x is 2, y is 5. When x is 4, y is 7, 6, 9, 8, 11. So it looks like every time they're adding 3. So your equation would be y is equal to x plus 3. So I can see if this works. So I can plug in when x is 2. So you have 2 plus 3 equals 5. I can plug in 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. I can plug in 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. I can plug in 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. So it works. So my equation is y is equal to x plus 3. All right, so you pause the video and try this one. All right. When x is 12, y is 10. When 11, 9, 10, 8. Well, it looks like it's going down minus 2 every time. So you can do y is equal to x minus 2. All right, try this one. So when x is 10, y is 25. When x is 12, y is 30. And then when... Um, x is 14, y is 35. So I can write, tell you right now, this is not a multiplicative, excuse me, this is not a did, a did um, adding anything because uh, 10 plus 15 is 25. Well, if I do 12 plus 15, that's 27. That is equal 30. So that's not correct. So this should be multiplicative. So every time uh, you can do... To get from a 10 to a 25 is a multiplying by 2.5. So I can see if 12 times 2.5 is 3. Yes, it is. And then, see? So that's 30. So then we can see if 14 is 35. Oops. It is. So my equation would be y is equal to 2.5 times x. And one of the reasons why I knew how to get 2.5 is I took 25 and I divided by 10, which is 2.5, and to see if that works with all of my other x's and y's. All right, try this one. When x is 5, y is 10. When x is 4, y is 9, 3, 8. So it looks like they're going down five every time. But you gotta be careful when they do that. So you can't say x minus five. That's not the equation. Because if you plug this in, five minus five, oh, I'm sorry, I have it backwards. They're adding five. I have no clue why I thought that. Well, yeah. So the equation is y is equal to x plus five. Sorry, y'all. Weird. All right, try this one. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 4. Okay, well, it's a multiplicative of times in 2. So the equation will be y is equal to 2x. All 
All right. So example two is a certain percent of the sale price of paintings at a gallery will be donated to charity. The no donation will be $50 if a painting sells for 200. The donation will, will be 75 if the painting sells for 30, uh, 300. Find the amount of it for 1200. Okay. So donation depends upon the selling cost. So selling cost, selling is X, donation is Y. So I can make my little table. So when they sell a painting for $200, they get a $50 donation. If they sell a painting for $300, they get a $75 donation. So what they're doing is it's, and they're trying to figure out what is $1,200. So you need to figure out the equation. So since we're working with these bigger types of numbers, I would assume it's a multiplicative relationship. And so what's happening is how did, I would figure out how did a 200 get to a 50? Because it's not by subtracting because they wouldn't be the same between the 300 and, 70, 300 and the 75. So how did a 200 get to a 50? Well, they divided by four. 200 divided by 4 is 50, and 300 divided by 4 is 75. So my equation would be y is equal to x divided by 4. So to find out the donation, when they sell a painting for $1,200, they're going to do 1,200 divided by 4, which should be $300. So it means they'll get a $300 donation. Okay, so it says, when Ryan is 10, his brother is 15. When Ryan's 16, Kyle's 21. When Ryan's 21, Kyle's 26. Complete the table. Okay, so I'm going to make this one Ryan. I'm going to make this Kyle. So when Ryan's 10, Kyle's 15. This is 16, 21. And then uh, 21, 26. So... Right now, I can tell you, is an age has to be an additive relationship. Add, uh, ages do not uh, depend on multiplicative. Um, so when Ryan's 10, Kyle's 15. So that's adding 15, or excuse me, adding 5 every time. So when Ryan's 16, you add 5, that's 21. When Ryan's 21, Kyle's 26, you add 5. So the equation would be y is equal to x plus um, 5. So it says, write and solve the equation to find Kyle's age when Ryan is 52. So Ryan is X in this case, and Kyle's Y. So we're going to plug in 52 for X. And you get Y is equal to 57. So Kyle will be 57 when Ryan's 52. All right. Thank you, guys.